All right, man. So I have the motor right here, pretty much. This is the mo another motor. It's a 6.0 with an ADE. Now I'm taking it to the new shop, and um, I got plenty of other motors over there that I gotta take to. Oh, sh oh, 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 damn. I got a few motors over there. I'm taking, I'm basically taking four motors to the new shop. That's for uh, four or five, I think it's four. I'm taking one for, uh, I'm taking the motor for my 68 Camaro. I'm taking the motor for Patrick. I'm taking more, uh, the motor for uh, Delano and the motor for James. I'm taking all those motors over there to the new shop. We got a new shop, man. The last guy who had this shop, man, he tore it up real, real bad. He tore the shop up so bad, man. So we kind of just, you know, replacing holes in the walls and stuff like that. You know, it's a, it is what it is, man. You know, some people just don't take care of stuff. So we trying to get it to where it need to be, paint walls and stuff like that. So I'm pretty much going to be done over here on, uh, at the shop on uh, Florence. I'm pretty much going to be out of this shop and I'll be at that other shop. So let me load these motors up and try to load this engine hoist up and see how in the hell. See how I'm gonna do this. Uh, 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 oh, you feel, damn, you feel that? My daughter didn't have said I couldn't get waves. I'm about to show them where that real baby shark live at. Baby shark could do the do. All right, man, I'll get back with y'all in a minute. So, I have to take this motor, uh, this motor, this motor in trance that motor to the new shop and i gotta somehow figure out how to help me get this engine hoist on here too and i gotta send this caprice to that exhaust shop at 10 o'clock trust me bro i've been busy as hell and i'm hoping this damn truck don't rub it's not rubbing or whatever but sometimes when i hit a dip and stuff it does rub <laughs> long day i'm taking four motors this one this 6.0 this is actually my 6.0 that I bought, but I actually just sold that one. So I'm gonna take that one to the shop, had that one dropped off. And then this is another 6.0 I gotta take. And then this is a 5.3 that I have to take. This is the LT1 that came out of the uh, Caprice. And this is Pop Pop Motor right here, the 799 heads. This is the newer, it's like the Gen 5, 5.3s. Come out of the uh they come out of like the denali and what are they called uh like the envoys and all that things are good man got the four boat intake i took three of the boats out because i needed them yeah man we're getting it done we're getting it done little by little tie straps for the win How many LS motors you can fit inside of Silverado? Extended cap? I'm gonna say four. Cause you have that one there. You have this transmission taking up this spot, which I can actually push this back or whatever. That'd be one, two, three, and for sure four. This one is actually hitting uh, this little piece right here. No, it's not. It was earlier. Um, but I might have to take out the water pump because I don't feel like wrestling with it anymore. I'm tired. Or I could just take that little piece off right there with a 10 millimeter and push it in the right way. That's where it was hitting at. So I don't have to take the water pump off. I don't want him crying like, oh, bro, why you take the water pump off? Something's wrong with it? No, man, it's fine. I don't think I need a 10 millimeter. I think it's already off. See if I can twist it. Yeah, yeah, there you go, Bati. There you go, Bati. Now I can close the cab. I close the back door and then just push it in. So you can fit four LS motors without taking the front accessories off and none of that and fit five motors. I'm pretty sure you could probably fit maybe more than that, but safely. Whoa. Yeah, she locked. We got all that space still. Huh. 
Truck life, baby. Yeah, I low-key did just snort like a damn pig. I don't know why I did that. Love this truck, man. 300,000 miles, baby. Real work truck. Damn. What are we gonna do about the engine hoist now? About to call Papa. Work truck, baby. I gotta get this thing lifted ASAP. Look at that. How close that is, see that? This side is actually hitting it. Got the motors up in this joint. 6.0 with an ADE. He's on the tire, but I'm not pulling nothing out. We about to make this work. Dirty ass curb. That's LA for you. Not official, but it's the first test drive. Going from one shot to the other. Getting it done. Got used to it. Oh, we're here driving. Listen to this truck though. Ugh. Gotta make slow ass turns. Rubbing bad. Listen though. Florence Avenue for three quarters of a mile. Got all three motors on the trunk still. You know what I'm saying? I'm cracking. Got my 68 right here. You know what I'm saying? Ain't got no motor in it. But the motor is here. In the back of the truck. I burned a lot of rubber on the way. But we made it. Not doing that again though. See the tire. See the tire. Didn't do a damn thing to it. This is a new shop right here. Yes, sir. Different truck, same mission. Got the 5.3 right here. 7.99 heads. And that's a, um, I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, I think that's a 5.3 and this time we got the hoist up in here with it. Uh, this is a 5.3 for sure. I just don't know where that, where this stuff at. It's a 5.3. So different truck, same mission. And we got one more motor, but I'm not picking that one up. Grandpa? You're gonna have to do some work. You know what I'm talking about? Headed back to the shop. The new shop. Shit, when you gotta get around, man, you just gotta get around, do what you need to do. <laughs> God damn. Oh my God. Hey. Let me see what you looking like, bro. Got the custom windows. Got the custom, he got drip, that paint dripping, boy. 